Nyacho was Ukoshi Tuba, Tony Sasaila Som Lomo. A commending Katain Kulego Siswe, Nyafisa, Kunsegi Saban Bagi Chuguti, as Melen and Uguti Bahol and Umslagawan. Sifunim Pelaban to Bonk and Umslagawan, Bahole by Tolly Maliabi Pelele, Jango Binjan. The issue at hand here, the issue at hand here is not whether grants will be paid or not. But the issue is the minister hell-bent on continuing an illegal and unlawful contract with CPS when the Constitutional Court has told her such. In fact, what is happening is that CPS is receiving 2.3 billion rands of our money as South Africans. We are giving money to an American and Australian-owned company, 2.3 billion rands. What happens to, so, to the radical economic transformation when you ship off billions out of the country? The corruption of CPS is there for everybody to see. But Bagit, Ungongo, Shufuna, Gukubeg and Holel, we in Kampan, we yon and Tatali Malian Tengama at time. We yon and Yaz Michal and Thum Gunyat, Imali Tolling a Pelel, Sizola Loko La Puguti, a year when in Kampan and Chonti Malia Bantu, Ungongo, Shaitan Darangag, Yintasi Kulumal, House on Abanga Holy, Imala Hall, but the relationship between CPS and the ANC is the continuing because. The ANC benefits through food parcels Honorable with this Senghor. very company, which is funding the ANC's campaign. Uh, honorable yes. Deputy Speaker, I yes. rise on rule number 85. Yes, the member Honorable. here says that there's a company that's stealing the monies of the people of South Africa, which I think is misleading. And the member understands very well. If that is the case, you, need it, you know that it needs to be given in a form of a substantive motion. Hey. No, proceed, Honorable Member. Honorable, Honorable Deputy Speaker, go and learn your rules, Honorable Member. And you are a camp, not a member of this house. You continuously raise these points of orders for attention. And you waste our time here. Yeah. Don't teach me the rules. I know the rules. Don't waste our time. Says Cartello when. Says Cartello when. On a point of Honorable order, Honorable Deputy Speaker. speaker Honorable the minister had three point years, of order, three years to deal Honorable with this crisis. Honorable and she sat point down and order. did nothing Honorable for three Honorable. years. She is now holding a political gun to her. Honorable Sengwa, uh, please. Can I ask you to stop, do stop, because you see, um, members know that the conduct of the debate must happen properly. On both sides of the house, between the speaker here on the podium and those of you on the benches, it is appropriate that you, be, uh, you allow each other to debate properly and so on. So when I request you to stop, so that I enable as an opportunity to hear what the issue is. What thank are you raising on, Honourable Member? Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. Oh, member Petro Moya is addressing me, and he knows very well he's not supposed to address me, but you. Honor Honourable Member, no. Oh, proceed, Honourable Member. Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, may I address you in terms of Rule 80 of the National Assembly yes. Rules? Yes, Honourable Member. Deputy Speaker, I notice you turned the Honourable Schlingwer's microphone off which is your power to do so, but only once you've satisfied Rule 82. And that's before proceeding in terms of Sub-Rule 1, the presiding officer must, not may, must inform the member and the, uh, the House of the intention to do so. Honourable and ask that you uphold the rules yeah. you are trying to apply to yeah. us. Honourable member, Honourable uh, Stienhezin, I, I asked Honourable Lengwa to take his seat earlier on and he continued, no, 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 honorable members, honorable member, you will listen to me, I listen to you quietly. Angipupanga uula, yuglalelega, she was wakait. Manji mosu telpan suya memeza, manji nga wazu kulu. Nkala sila lilane. Harasa mamelana, honan vetlat samang hantla. Liling, we are here with that samang hantle kupar mamelan. How about the Tebe fella hung yan if fella? Oh, call him loom. The Tebe did you let the bully let our thoughts of a hunt? Honorable members, 
All I'm saying is that I requested Honorable Chiang want to take his seat so that I must be able to hear what the member is saying. He continued to uh, talk. And I said to him, don't do that again. The rules require of us to warn him. When a member does not even hear when I'm saying this and he continues to talk, I have a responsibility to point out that he should do so. And one of the things I did, I did that consciously on a little member uh, so that I draw his attention to that rule which he knows. And, and, and it applies to all of you in the House, honorable members, that when you are requested to obey the rules, please do so. Proceed, honorable Deputy member. Speaker. Deputy Speaker, with, with, with respect, the rules bind you as a presiding officer yes, as well. I know that. If you are unhappy with Rule 82, yes. may I suggest you take it to the Rules Committee yes, and ask them to review it. Okay. please don't break the rules in the interim. Okay. Honourable Member, please proceed. Uh, Honourable Deputy Speaker, I must apologise. Like President Zuma, I was in full flight. I did not hear On you. a point of order. Honourable Deputy Speaker, on the order. issue at hand here is Deputy that... Speaker, on a point of order. Honourable uh, Member, Honourable... <laughs> point of order. Honourable <laughs> Member, please take your seat. Don't debate with the Honourable Member, please. <laughs> Honourable Bongo. Thank you, Speaker. I'm rising in terms of Rule 85, 85.1. It says that no member may impugn improper motive to any other member or cast personal reflection upon a member's integrity or dignity or verbally abuse a member in any other way. So the reflection by Honorable Shengwa as he was continuing about the minister, they are casting aspersions and doubt on the integrity of the minister. And I would want you to rule on that so that he can withdraw those aspersions that he has cast. Honorable Bongo, I will read the Hansard and I'll come back to the House to indicate whether what you are saying is as you say it. I will do that. Proceed, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Fender. Deputy Speaker, in the final analysis, the fact of the matter is that the Minister has aided and abetted this crisis, having sat and done nothing for three years after the Concord told her to intervene, she did nothing. Sasa lied to us and said they would have the capacity to deal with this matter. They do not have that capacity. Our only option is now to enter into a contract with a bunch of crooks in the name of CPS. The minister must do the honorable thing and resign. She is no longer fit for purpose. She's a threat to the social stability of this country and she must not in any way think that we'll let, take this lying down. We can't allow this to go on. Finally, you can bring rent a crowd here. Honourable the indictment member, your that time the gallery is, is so full. Unemployment is obviously very Honourable high Senwa, in this country. Your time has expired. Honourable Shelembe.